All right, I was going to leave this to the end of the month, but whatever. I'm going to do a pickups video now. Um, yeah, so I'll just get on with it. I got a black Sony PSP. Yay! Um, it's the 3000 model, which obviously is the uh, slim one. Um, basically, I was, I was. I'm still not convinced about this system to be honest with you. I think it's 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 still got a lot of flaws and I'm not totally, you know, convinced by it, but I am I am liking it I must say. Um but the reason why I picked it up is I was just like um you know, just bored and just going having a look on um Amazon as you do. And I don't know why I clicked on the uh, PSP and uh, thought I'd look at some of their games. Maybe I just clicked on the wrong um, tag or whatever, but I don't know. But I, I went straight to the uh, RPG section and had a look on there. And I was really fucking surprised, excuse my language, at just absolutely how much like um, JRPGs they had on the system. There was absolutely freaking loads. Um, I was really impressed by the games, the amount of games that was on there, and the the quality of games, and you know, th they're just games that appealed to me basically. So then, I, I've been, because I've got a uh, Nintendo DS, I went on the RPG section of the uh, games for the uh, DS, and I had to look at the games on that, and I just thought. The DS really pales in comparison to the PSP in terms of games. <sighs> Coming from uh, my point of view, that I don't like all that cutesy kind of Nintendo crap. Sorry, sorry to say, sorry if that's going to offend people, but I don't like those kind of games anymore. And I was never much bothered, even back in the day when I had a Game Boy and uh, a Super Nintendo. I was never really bothered with the Nintendo games anyway. It was all like the, you know, really serious uh, third party developed games that I was interested in. You know, your, um, your Jungle Strike, Desert Strike and, um, yeah, I think, was it Killer Instinct? Mortal Kombat, even though it didn't have any blood in it, or as far as I can remember, you know, you just all the you know serious games on the system. So yeah, I just and I've I've only got one game for the uh, well, it's not even a game. It's more like you know, it's just learning software for the uh, Nintendo DS. Because like I said, there's nothing, no games on the Nintendo DS that I want. There's absolutely nothing. I only bought the Nintendo D Nintendo DS just for that one bit of learning software, and that was it. And I thought, well, maybe at some point there'll be a game come out that I'll really want, but there's nothing on that system. But anyway, after discovering that there were so many great JRPGs for this system, I decided to buy one. Um, I got mine from game with you know the hundred and thirty pound deal or whatever it was from game with all the games you get like uh um Jack and Dexter and all those kind of um platforming games, none of which I have to say as well I'm not interested in those kind of games. Maybe if they did like a brand new Earthworm Jim game and put that out of the system, I'll keep that but or the, I mean, I know the the Jack and Dex, Dexter games and Ratchet and Clank and all that lot. I know they're good games, but no, they just they just don't appeal to me. So I as well, I'm not going to get it out the the PSP. I'm not going to get it out of the box because everyone knows what it looks like by now. All right, guys. So these, now for the uh, games. Now. Um, I did start doing this bit of the video, um, and I would have had this whole pickups video uploaded by now but the uh, battery died on me and I had to recharge it and then it wouldn't recharge so I thought I was going to have to buy a new battery 
and for some reason manufacturers these days they don't allow you to use video cameras off like uh, the mains for some reason you have to just use a battery I mean you can plug them into uh, laptops or PCs or whatever and use them like that but that's a bit awkward so yeah it's just a bit stupid that they don't let you to run these cameras straight off the uh, mains these days but whatever well that's just the way it's going I suppose so anyway first up is God Eater Burst this is basically it's um, a monster hunter game if you've ever heard of the really popular monster hunter I've not actually played monster hunter or any other monster hun hunting game so I'm pretty excited to play this um, this is probably the best graphically the best looking game that I've got on the uh, PSP um, it's just absolutely amazing it's kind of like that kind of oh it's not sh oh, I'm not going to be able to say this shell shaded but <laughs> but um, it's kind of got that uh, cartoony anime graphics which is probably why it looks so damn good um, yeah so and as you can see it's it's obviously really popular in Japan it won't focus on that but it's the, it says uh, Japan's million selling series so yeah that's that game and next up is Breath of Fire I've actually got a game called uh, Breath of Fire on the uh, Xbox Live Indie Games well it is an Xbox Live Indie game uh, this has got nothing to do with it at least I don't think it has but um, yeah Breath of Fire kind of top down um, sort of RPG thing a bit like Grandia or Alba Odyssey so yeah it looks really good look forward to playing through that now here's a game that I have been putting a crap load of hours into it's uh, White Knight Chronicles Origins. Um, yeah, I've probably played about seven to eight hours of this, and yeah, I'm pretty bored to be honest with you. Um, it's not a really bad RPG. Um, it has it is all right, but man, the side missions or the you can't even call them uh, side quests. They're actually missions. And they're really boring, to be honest. They're really boring side missions. Uh, there's no like story to them, you know. Like in some RPGs, you have side quests and missions that actually have like really long stories to them um, that kind of shoot off from the uh, main story. But this game, the missions are just like they're all very basic, very generic, very boring. It's kind of like. Um, go to this uh you go you'll go to this area you you pick your uh like group who you're gonna fight with and then it's like discover all the different areas and then you do another one and it'll be like kill this monster or kill this bandit and then you do another one and it'll just be like um discover three gold pieces pieces uh pieces of coins or treasure or whatever and that's it there's no story there or nothing so it makes leveling up and whatnot just really boring when the side missions and side quests are just that generic and i've played seven hours of this game and so far apart from the opening kind of cutscene thing that kicks the game off there's been nothing absolutely nothing in the way of the main storyline like i said the main storyline was just the first like 20 minutes of cutscenes and talking to some bloke and that was it and the rest of the like um you know seven six and a half seven hours have just been there's been absolutely no storyline whatsoever i expect the storyline to like ch you know um i expect you to be able to chip away at the storyline while learning the ropes of the game not having to spend you know close to 10 hours or whatever with no storylines whatsoever so I'm, yeah i'm not playing any more of this i found it quite boring and yeah just not that great but i'm trying to get um 
um, a really big RPG collection on this uh, system. Anyway, next up, Valkyrie Profile Lenith. Uh, it's meant to be really good. Um, goes for about, well, just over a tenner. It's meant to be a really good game. Again, it's sort of like this. I can't even turn it around. Again, it's sort of like got this um, Albert Odyssey and um, Grandier kind of look to it. So, yeah, I'm I'm kind of wondering whether just to start playing this one, to be honest, on any split then. So, yeah, really happy to get that one because it's meant to be really good. I think this next one's a bit of a mixed bag. It's a sto Astonish Her Story. This one's a turn-based strategy RPG that looks, the graphic the graphics looks a bit like uh, something you'd find on the uh, SNES or the uh, Mega Drive, whichever. So yeah, I'm not sure whether I can really do um, turn-based, you know, strategy. Uh, strategy RPGs, but I'm willing to uh, give it a go at some point. Okay, next up is Splinter Cell. No, this isn't Splinter Cell. What the hell am I talking about? This is Siphon Filter Dark Mirror, and it's meant to be a really, really top game for the uh, PSP. Uh, well, what can I say about this game? I'm really not convinced about first person shooters on the system. Why? Well, simply because no second analog stick. And I've had it put to me that really you have to get used to the controls, and once you get used to the controls, it's fine. Now, you can say that about the Dreamcast first person shooters, but at the end of the day, there's still no second analog stick, and you shouldn't have to get used to the controls. You should just be able to pick it up, play it, and then just get used to the odd little button layout changes you know if you know what i mean like as, as you know you normally do when changing uh first person shooters but to have the you know the actual face buttons to move forward back left or right or look up down left or right it's just fucking awkward basically excuse my language but it is and i just can't get used to that so i don't think the strength of the psp is in these first person shooters so I just I couldn't get on with this game at all. Next up is Lords of Arcania. This is my first special edition game for the PSP. I'm not really bothered about getting special editions for the PSP to be quite honest with you. But this one comes with an artwork booklet and a mini CD, a music CD. So it's pretty nice for what it is. I've heard that this has got like monster hunting elements to it. So um, yeah, I really this don't know what's like. This is a component lead. So it will play uh, stuff at 480p. There you go. So this is at full screen, but what I'm going to do is yeah, so I'm going to put a game in. I'm going to put God Eat It Burst. This, I'm not going to do a gameplay video. This just to uh, show you what what it's like with a game on the uh, TV. And there's about a million bloody videos of this on the um, on YouTube. But I'll just stick it in. But yeah, the, essentially being able to play these games on the TV is what made me just tip me over uh, to get in one basically. So yeah, and I'm never going to play the PSP like on its own off the screen that it's got, you know, on the move or whatever. Whenever I play the PSP it's always going to be connected up to my TV. So it's basically like another console really. Now the only problem is this, for some reason, I think it comes down to the, uh, you know, the uh, the computer chips and whatnot, and how much resources that the game uses and stuff, um, it can't display uh, pictures, so I'm going to turn that down. 
Yeah, it can't display like a picture is totally full screen. But if you're lucky enough, your TV will have like a zoom feature like like mine. Now that's as big as I can make the uh, picture and it's still got the borders around it but the, I mean the picture is almost full screen so I'm not complaining. Alright that's enough for that intro which is an amazing intro. So look at that it's almost, almost, not quite but almost full screen so Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, the loading times, the loading times. The loading times are pretty sh shit when it comes to the uh, PSP, I reckon. Here's my character. And look at the graph. The graphics look uh, just top notch. It's a lot better playing this on the uh, TV than it is on the PSP screen. So yeah, that's uh, the PSP on my uh, TV with the uh, component leads. And yeah, so that's your luck guys.